Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for the official Buzzard Days video. I'm currently set up at Loafers Bend West. We've been traveling and we're moving that way. We're headed to Ham Creek Park, just outside of the little town of Rio Vista, Texas. It's about as far up Lake Whitney as you can go and still call it a lake before you have to start calling it the Brazos River. In case you're wondering, I'm watching the only other camper in this campground. And I don't know, she's doing something weird over there by the by her RV, by her motor home. Can't tell what it is. Maybe she's giving birth. Anyway, we're about to pack up and hit the road and roll on up the Actually, we're gonna run in to do a little grocery shopping at ATB, and then we're gonna go to Ham Creek because you can't get into the campground. You can't get into your, your campsite until two o'clock. If you get there early, they charge you an extra day. So we're gonna go do a little grocery shopping. I know I said I was on my way over to Ham Creek Park, but we decided to come into Cleburne and, and get some groceries at the at the grocery store. That's the, the closest large grocery store. City of Cleburne. I had I did not know if you're a railroad buff, this is gonna be of interest to you. This is the AT and SF steam locomotive number 3417, the spirit of Kleber. There's a big plaque here, and it went into service 29 or 1919. It was assigned to Kleber passenger service for most of its 35 years and 2 million miles of active operation. It was retired and donated to the city in 1955 where it was placed here in Hewland Park. That's pretty cool. It was based out of and serviced by the people that lived in Cleburne. That's some big steam right there. Those wheels are at least six feet tall. That's a that's big steam. Big, big steam. I wonder how many horsepower that thing puts out. Do not climb over a fence or on the train. Man, I'd hate to be the crew in that and that's big piece of black steel on a day like today <laughs> it's 105 degrees down here i bet it's a whole lot hotter than that when that was in there when she was running down the track this is a neat little park if you're needing a waypoint stop it's just south of downtown. If you're a squirrel, that's how you cool off on a hot summer day. <laughs> you lay down on the cool concrete in the shade. Never mind the guy walking by with a camera. If Ziva knew that was there, she'd be going crazy. Ham Creek Park, we have arrived. Site number 22. If you're not familiar with Ham Creek Park, don't, I, I, I'm not surprised because I didn't even know about it until last summer. And I, and I was looking for a place to camp that I'd never been. A whole lot of pull through full connections. And then there's a, quite a few back in. And most of your back ends have got some shade. Site number 22 actually has a nice little pecan tree. 
some persimmons. We are a water electric site, 50 amp. There's no sewer. Full connections are all pull through. But we're about 100 yards from the facilities and they do a really great job keeping this park clean. It's one of the reasons why I chose it for buzzard days. Shade canopy over a metal table, but we have a trash can. Charcoal cooker, fire burner, but we're in a burn ban. Pretty much the whole state of Texas is in a burn ban. So, we won't be burning anything. Brazos River, Lake Whitney is over there. We'll go check that out shortly. Now I'm geared up. Got the Valkyrie de deployed. It's time to go see some stuff. Let's go revisit Ham Creek Park. See what's changed, if anything. Ham Creek Park is actually owned by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, but it's managed by Johnson County. That's why a lot of the stuff looks like Corps of Engineer COE campgrounds. So you got your concrete prefab toilet with a shower right there. Plenty of water. The staff, whoop, I keep forgetting about that thing on top of my head. The staff here does a fantastic job keeping the grounds in the park in excellent shape. Let's go see what else there is. I'm so excited, the big pump is gone. So if you go back in time to last August when I visited Ham Creek, it was this big pump sitting right over there running non-stop. I don't know what they were doing with the water. You don't want to water your grass with this because it's got too much salt in it. Anyway, my boat ramp fans are going to be happy. We got two boat ramps, actually three ramps, three lanes. There's another one right over there. Plenty of water. Last year there wasn't a lot of water. Well, there was water, but it was really low. This boat ramp actually has something I've never seen before. Don't know if they work, but those are solar powered lights. I guess if you're down here in the dark, you can tell me. If you come down here and fish at night, let me know. Post in the comments, launch at your own risk. Kind of have a little beach area. Not really a beach, but you can get in the water here. As that we're actually at a bend in the river. It's called Kimball Bend. If you look on the map, you'll see Kimball Bend. All right, let's go see what else there is. So in the day use area, there are two restrooms. Look how clean this is. Even smells good. Kind of in a bathroomy kind of way. So if you're thinking about Ham Creek Park, you're thinking about coming down here and spending some time, and you're bringing the kiddos with you, you'll be happy to know. They'll be happy to know. There are two of these really cool play structures, soft ground, plastic slides, all kinds of cool stuff to do. And if you're a grown up and all you want to do is sit around and hang out with all your friends and family under some shade with a fan blowing on you, well then they have two group pavilions with water and power available. We will be renting one of these on Saturday so that we can do the Dude RV's Buzzard Days. Both the, both the group pavilions have cookers. We're in a burn band, so they're, they're off limits. 
let's go look at the water. There are several places along the bank to get down to the water. Oh yeah, we're a little higher than we were last time I was here. And this, there's like a drop off. This is not shallow water. You better know how to swim when you get down here. There's, there's a couple places. We'll go see if we can find another one. This is another access area. That so it looks like it might, might be a little easier than the other one. Getting in the water, definitely better. Need I say more? This is natural snake, snake habitat and the most common venomous snake in this part is probably gonna be the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. So if you're traveling with horses, this is the equestrian camping area. A couple picnic tables. They actually provide you with water and power. It's not like a lot of those equestrian campgrounds where you're really primitive camping. Let's go see a paddock. Well, shoot, this paddock even comes with a trailer. Yeah, I actually don't think that comes with the paddock. Anyway, here's the paddocks if you're camping with your horses. They'll be happy with a roof over their head. Good morning. It's the last Saturday in August. You know what that means? That's right. Buzzard days. We're the hardcore RV campers. We don't care what the temperature is. It can be 115 degrees. And we're going to take the RV out to a campground. That's what buzzard day is all about. I'm YouTube famous now. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, how, stole, how do you know you're famous? I, I stole your channel. You stole my channel? Yeah. Why are we here today? Because it's channel. Because of um, you. So. No, it's well, no, that's not because of me. It's because of everybody else. Yeah. Well, you started it. But Wait, what's it who called? Started this? Buzzard Day. Buzzard Day. Buzzard Day. So why? Okay, do, why is, is it? Why is it called Buzzard Days? Uh, why, why do you think I called it that? Buzzard. Because when it's as hot as it is right now, about the only thing you see moving are either stupid RVers like us <laughs> or buzzards up there riding the thermals, waiting for us to drop dead. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we call it buzzard days. Do they want us to die? The buzzards would like that, yes. We'd be fresh, a fresh meal. And this buzzard days is proudly sponsored by unique products they have sent us a full display here they are in the line in the line of duty they specialize in the black tank the gray tank pretty much anything to do with the the tanks on your rv they have something for that if your tank is your your sensors are clogged you got that you don't want to use a bleach product on your rv toilet because that it kills the little critters in the black tank to help keep it from stinking. So they've got a cleaner for that. This helps break down the solids in your black tank. It's a great product, I love it. It even comes in a, a simple drop-in. Unique products. You need to check them out. There'll be a link in the card and in the description. We got a lot of stuff that's being given out today. If you didn't make it to Buzzard Days this year, you'll be able to catch up with us at Dillo Days in February. Click on the subscribe button so you won't miss the official announcement for that. And then again next year, we'll be doing this on the next Buzzard Days. All right, we got to finish getting the cooling systems in place and 
start bringing over some food. The feed is about to start. I'm getting photo bombed. <laughs> Kids. So we are, where are we? We're at Ham Creek Park. We're kicking off the Dillo Days event. And I got some help. I have ticket masters. Yeah, my name is Christian. I was in Dillo Days, yeah. And Christian helped me at Dillo Days. Yeah. Who are you? Colton. 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 <laughs> and why are you here? Because he doesn't want to be here. He just wants to sit at home playing his game mode. <laughs> <laughs> What's the shirt you're wearing? Look at that. Dillo Days! Colton wasn't with us at Dillo Days. But I'm wearing the I'm mom and dad work. And so what and what is it that you're doing to help here today at, at Buzzard Days? Ticket Masters. Ticket Masters. Ticket Masters. And what 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 does that mean? Well, I'm a Give worker. Give tickets to people. I'm a worker. So so what is the ticket for? For your so prizes. For the prizes. So how does all that work? Yeah, so you yeah. call the number out of the little bucket thing, and you go and pick like, whatever prize you want. Whatever prize? Yeah. Even a box. Even a box. Even an empty box, for crying out loud. And my brother, at Dilla Days, he got firewood as his prize. He did get firewood. He did. <laughs> like that, that was the most amazing request, too. <laughs> All right. I got to go mingle. Every one of you crazy people coming out here at Tampa Bay in the heat right now. Make sure you get your two tickets. You're not going to leave here without some stuff. I know I'm the stuff guy, but I got the stuff so that you'll have the stuff when you leave. And you got it here just in time. <laughs> from Ham Creek Park. I still like my Ham Creek hot. What is the most amazing thing about camping at Ham Creek Park? You, you really start to feel spoiled when they come by and pick up your garbage twice a day, even. There's lots of goat head stickers out here. So if you've got pups, 
walking out there is like walking into a minefield. Got to see a few deer walk through the camp this morning when I got up at the crack of dawn. Yeah, you should come check out Ham Creek Park. I had a bunch of friends show up for coffee this morning. So I didn't get to finish the, the close out of our adventures here at Ham Creek. I really like this little campground. I know I've already said that. Uh, and everyone that was here at Buzzard Days really liked this little campground. Just such a park, beautiful park-like setting. And our Buzzard Days gathering event it, it was, it really touched my heart, you know, it, it, it's like this gathering, the, these Duders gatherings, and it's, it's not about Duderby, it's more about the community that has formed around the Duderby Traveling Road Show. The people that make this thing what it is, this Duderby thing what it is. It really is like a family reunion. Getting to see people that you haven't seen in a while, but you're connected with them. Because it's, it's, it's all about the community. I really didn't get that up until Dillo days. And, and now we're all, and I think everyone that's, that's showing up here is, has realized that it's, it's more than just going camping we all have some a lot of things in common even though we're different from different walks of life doesn't matter in income is irrelevant location is irrelevant because we're mobile we're, tra we're traveling around this was really good really good and, and if, you, if you were here for the Buzzard Day experience, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for making this such a fun experience for us. I know Yappy and I have, we, we, we've, we've just fallen in love with y'all. And at the end, it's always sad that, that we have to leave. But we know we'll we'll run it, we'll cross paths. We know we'll cross paths with y'all later on. And as a matter of fact, we'll we'll be crossing paths for the eclipse days in October, Potter's Creek. At Potter's Creek, Canyon Lake. And then we'll cross paths again at Dillo Days. February, first weekend in February. Lake Whitney State Park, Horseshoe Loop. We're doing it again. So that brings us to the end of our visit. The end of our visit to Ham Creek and Buzzard Days has come to a close. The weather's getting cooler. Kind of, kind of funny how that works. Anyway, I gotta, I gotta get on the road. I gotta give Trudy a bath. Gotta work on some, some stuff because, because we have a grand adventure coming up. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. Uh, for those of you who have been following along, that's why I get to do what I do. Thank you so much. I love you for that. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?